Cats is one of the longest running and most beloved Broadway musicals of all time. And now it's getting a new life on the big screen. This is a big deal. Were you all feeling lots of pressure? Yes. Yeah, I think you you have you had the most. Yeah. Yes. Jennifer's got like the torch <laughs> song of the musical. And Francesca is the lead, so yeah, I think in every that scene. maybe there was a bit of pressure yes. there. We are just like, Personally, like here for a good time. It. Yeah. Drum roll, please. The good times roll with an all-star cast: Jennifer Hudson, Taylor Swift, Rebel Wilson, and Francesca Hayward, alongside James Corden, Dame Judi Dench, Idris Elba, and Sir Ian McKellen. We have this incredibly crazy star-studded cast and, you know, introducing, <laughs> as you're watching the movie, Francesca Hayward. And I thought, what does she feel like? I still can't believe it, just being in this lineup right now, you know, sat next to these amazing ladies. Um, but yeah, I just tried not to, like, dwell on it too much, maybe, and just try and treat everyone like they're just normal people. <laughs> How was she as a dancer? She's the best dancer I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I thought yeah. she was flying. We're about to begin. But what about when Judy Dench was there? Because she's kind of a legend. She's the nicest legend. Though. She yeah. is. Yeah. She's 85 years old, and she has to wear this coat that was like 80 pounds. Yes. Yeah. And she would bitch about it a lot. And I was just like, <laughs> oh, my God, Judy Dench is like bitching. But she also did a kindness. Taylor, were you talking about some kind of candy on the set? She what, got me what? candy. She got you candy? Yeah. It was the most amazing thing. I was just talking near her about this kind of candy that they have in the UK called squashies. <laughs> And I was like, this is legit candy, okay? Let me talk about it. It's gummy. It tastes like a combination of strawberries and raspberries. It was really late. I was ranting about the candy for a while. <laughs> and the next day in my dressing room, I walked into the trailer and there were like 10 packets of this candy with oh. a signed headshot from Judy. What? No. Wow. She signed a headshot. Yeah, it was the most wow. amazing. The it was the most romantic surprise. To get into character. Uh Meow. Meow. All of the actors attended cat school. Cat school is something that you could do as much of or as little of as you wanted. I was in cat school a lot. You're crawling around on the floor. You're learning about their anatomy, their impulses, their instincts, how they sense things. You have to really like, like sniff, sniff <laughs> each other around. because like your nose. Yeah, the sense of smell is very important yeah. to yeah. the cat. Yeah. What about the licking <laughs> was going on? There's a lot of licking. I licked Jason Derulo. <laughs> <laughs> But that wasn't in the script. One of the film's most memorable moments, a show-stopping performance by Jennifer Hudson. That song, by the way, when they talk pressure, no kidding, you stood up there and brought people to tears. It was definitely emotional, um, scary a bit. Yeah. But I, I tried to be in the moment, live Grizabella's story, tell her story. It felt really real because all the cats were around me. Yeah. At least you have beautiful ghosts. Taylor teamed up with legendary composer Andrew Lloyd Webber, who scored the original musical to write Beautiful Ghosts, a new original song for the film nominated for a Golden Globe. For this iconic show, to write another song is a big, big deal. How did you introduce that song to Francesca? Victoria, the character, is the lead beautiful mm -hmm. ballerina in the show Cats, but in the original show she doesn't have a song and we never hear from her. Mm. That's the one thing missing. Mm. I've had so many pinch me moments in this whole film, but I think that was for me like one of the most surreal days, having a private concert from Taylor of a song that you'd written for me, for my character. <laughs> Taylor also just rang in her 30th birthday by accepting Billboard's first ever Woman of the Decade Award. The definition of the toxic male privilege in our industry is people saying, but he's always been nice to me. I'm watching you and you're sitting here among these super strong women. And I have to tell you, I was really struck when you gave your speech. Describe that moment for me. Well, I think as women, we can be thankful for the wonderful things that we've been given. There are always moments for that, but if we're really living complex lives, we show the other things too. But if it's, if it's going to help someone else and it's something that I see as truly beneficial to other people, I think it's important to express yourself. And in music, you know, 
as women, we need to have each other's backs. And I think that we're in a place right now in time where I'm seeing that happen so much, and it makes me really happy. Don't mess with the crazy cat lady. You know, you play cats. You have, let's pretend you had have, you have nine lives. Is there, what's the next thing that you would like to do in your life, Rebel? Play a dog. No, uh, <laughs> something. I think that I'm just going to keep making music and taking challenges. One thing with doing Cats is that it was a challenge in so many different ways. The only thing I have control over is the experience and is it going to enrich my life mm -hmm. and is it going to be fun and is it going to be an adventure. Things that are going to make your life more exciting are things you should say yes to. But at least you have beautiful ghosts. Wow. It, it was such a fun sit down with those ladies. Uh, Taylor Swift was just, she was so strong and in charge, and I was just so impressed with her. Rebel was telling me at cat school, one of the other things I learned is they said, as a human, when yeah. you walk, you like swing your arms. Sure. She said, in cat school, your arm and your leg move together. And oh. when she figured out that little trick yeah. to being a cat, She's been walking They're, like a cat ever since. She's been sense. walking like it. But it, it, was, it was really cool to sit with those ladies. And you saw the film as well, and you, you said that it's, it's pretty fantastic. It's a, it's a cool film, yeah. and behind me there was a security guard when I was watching the screening, and when Jennifer Hudson killed it during that song, I could hear sniffing in the back, oh, and wow. he said every, oh, every time she does that, she really slays it in uh. that movie. So it'll be a lot of fun. If you've seen the Broadway musical, mm -hmm. you'll probably get it more, because I think uh. people are confused when they see the cats right. all catting around. But, uh, catting around. around. All right. All right. But anyway, Cats is, of course, produced by our sister company, Universal Pictures. It hits theaters this Friday. It's I a really lot of fun. I really enjoyed that conversation, too. Thank you for that.